Hi friends, welcome to the electronics for engineer. Today we will learn what is the working principle of stepper motor and how to control the stepper motor with potentiometer and Arduino. Now stepper motors are increasingly taking its position in the world of electronics. Starting from a normal surveillance camera to complicated missions, robots, these stepper motors are used everywhere as actuators since they provide accurate controlling. In this tutorial, we will talk about mostly used stepper motor that is 28BY J48 model. In this simple project, we will rotate the stepper motor using potentiometer and Arduino. Like if you turn the potentiometer clockwise, then stepper motor will rotate clockwise. And if you turn potentiometer anti-clockwise, then stepper motor will also rotate anti-clockwise. If you see here, unlike a normal DC motor, this 28BY J48 stepper motor has 5 wires of all fancy colors coming out of it. And why it so means? To understand this, we should first know how a stepper motor works. Now see, I will explain how stepper motor works exactly. Here, this is a basic model. A permanent magnet having north and south poles is in the center. It is equivalent to the rotor. Here it is surrounded by 4 coils S1, S2, S3 and S4. They work as a stator winding wire. Now we will turn on a direct current in these 4 coils in sequence. When direct current passes through the S1 coil, it becomes an electromagnet and draws the rotor poles the rotor stops facing S1. Next, when the direct current is turned off in the S1 coil and turned on in the S2 coil, the S2 coil becomes an electromagnet and draws the rotor in 90 degrees clockwise direction and stops facing the S2 coil. As you can see, the direct current is turned on in the coils and sequence which then rotates a magnetic field and moves the rotor step by step like this our DC motor will run step by step. To do this basic project, we need a few components. Arduino Uno board and ULN2003 Darlington pair AC and a 10K ohm potentiometer and next stepper motor 28BY J48 model. Now I will explain what is the need of this ULN2003 Darlington pair AC. Most stepper motors will operate only with the help of a driver module like this ULN2003. This is because the controller module like our Arduino will not be able to produce enough current from its input output pins for the motor to operate. So we will use an external module like ULN2003 module as a stepper motor driver. There are many types of driver modules and the rating of one will change based on the type of motor used. So that's why for this simple project we go for this ULN2003 Darlington pair IC. Now see this circuit diagram and connect your components according to this circuit diagram. Now we will learn how to calculate the steps per revolution for your stepper motor. Then only you can program it effectively. In this project, in Arduino, we will be operating the motor in 8 step sequence. It means for 8 step sequence, stride angle is 11.25 degrees. It is given in data sheets. Means for each step, it will take 11.25 degrees. For 4 steps sequence, it will take 5.625 stride angle. Just see here. It says steps per revolution means how many steps it will take for each revolution by he see here this is 360 degrees by 11.25 stride angle means it will take 32 steps per each revolution by using these 32 steps we are defining this step size in our program so we will see our programming part just make sure that you have selected this Arduino you know, board and port and everything correct and after that just see here I included a header file stepper.h and after that just see here I define a step 32 you can also give 64 also no problem just see here these are pins 8, 10, 9, 11 these are the pins which were given to the Arduino Uno board just see here here this I begin a serial monitor and after that according to our header file we given this variable speed 0 to 200 up to you can give anything here loop just to see here, this I, uh, I used this map function. By this map function, this is analog read A0 means 
we given this pin with to the our uh, variable potentiometer just by varying this value we will get the voltage in this analog pin this analog pin will convert to this bits 0 to this is the low range this is high range 1 0 to 4 these are the degrees 0 is the low range and 360 is the high range like that these values will store into this value it is based upon the previous values if previous value is high it will like if you step or dot step 5 is there na, then it will come to clockwise if previous value is low then it will go to anti-clockwise like this this plus sign denotes to clockwise this minus sign denotes to anti-clockwise like that we can control our stepper motor with the potentiometer thank you friends for more updates please subscribe our channel electronics fun engineer